Welcome back to NG. Another new day, another new case. Another new game. NG. New guesses. Or NG. Nothing good. NG. New goody goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Nuked. I still have Sagey's gun. Uh, yeah? Well, when we need oh. to shoot the ghosts. Yeah, hello? Oh. We want Vaughn. Uh. How convenient, because I'm thinking of banning you, and then you pull out the gun. Well, what do you want, man? <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Hey, uh, did NG do a cool thing and introduce your new party members a chapter before? Sort of. Okay. Yes, we are getting Bon as a new uh, party member this chapter, but also somebody new. Somebody new? Yes. This is the game of death featuring Bon and Rosé. Ooh, fancy. Is she an idol, too? Oh, Christ, no. <laughs> Moon! Moon. I would laugh if there was a Y on the other side. Moony! So this chapter, um, is a bit of a slow burn. But here's where things are gonna get really fucked up. Oh, really? I hope you're ready. I hope you're prepared. I, I know you've mentioned that it it can get worse than a uh, than a dead pregnant woman and turtles and a uh, extremely obese axe wielding murderer. How bad are we talking on a scale of if one to fucked? Um. Like, compared to the other ones. Like, let's say that's the scale. Like, let's say the Urashima woman's a four, uh, uh, Kubitaro is a six. Alright, um, this might be the most fucked up chapter. <laughs> Straight to eleven, got it. This is also a very important chapter, because it's gonna be, uh, Referenced later. Ooh. But we're getting a little bit more information on Kakuya's game. People just get spirited away. They kill. They, they either die or go missing. Kakuya appears every ten years for some reason. Only ten years? That's not a lot of time. So every ten years, she shows up, steals a whole bunch of people to play her fucked up game, then goes away? So this means, chances are, we're gonna purify Kakuya and send her away for good. I wonder if the postcard is the same for everyone. Hmm. Like we, like, we get the clever, you know, La Bam, it's Pabule, what does it mean? And the others are like, you're gonna die if you don't play my game! <laughs> well, it depends on the person. Because NWA is just like, you know, kind of kind of standoffish, you know, he doesn't really talk to too many people, so she wants to open up his heart a little bit. It's like, let's play! So you deal with Kakia. You you go and get fucked somehow. No, I don't want you to be gentle with me. I just imagine one of the challenges is you're in the restroom and there's no more toilet paper, so you yell into the sky, Kakuya! 
No, actually, what happens is that you, uh, you know, pull down your pants, you know, go down and sit on the toilet. And then you're trying to... But then just before you're about to do your business, you hear... <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Ah, the mouths! The mouths! Ah! Bon is called improvisation. You can have infinite comebacks if you're good at improv. Yeah, I've got infinite comebacks. Like... Shut up. And... Shut the up. Your mom's a comeback! <laughs> ha! Huh? Come back on your mom! It, oh. Shut up! Is this guy asking for, like, a big hundo from you? Yeah, but well, we'll give him a fiver. Or, is that a fifty or... Fifty bucks, jeez. And I'm like a high school student. That's, that's kind of messed up. High school? Are you saying this is an anime? He's like our age, and he's like, Hey, kid, you got, like, fifty bucks I can borrow. <laughs> and he runs right into a pachinko parlor. Oh, what an asshole! Well, time to pretend to drive home. <laughs> gas, gas, gas! <laughs> and doubles the type to, like, say what he's doing on the motorcycle. So, revving! Revving! Screeching to a halt! Jesus. <laughs> As he's driving down, he just goes, Step on the gas! Step on the gas! <laughs> he gets into a street race, looking at opposing car, revving, revving, revving. Peel out and go! Well, going to bed, good night. That's it for today. Oh, this is the shortest episode yet. What, like five minutes? Seven minutes? Literally, today was. Hey! You're in Kaku's game, which means you're fucked. And also, uh, there's another party member who wants to talk to you about some stuff. So, uh, go talk to her. Wow, yeah. Bon! Thanks for the obvious, genius! Time for the next day! The 12th! It's been two days. So let's meet up with this ghost expert lady. Head down to the bar. Time to see Mary again. What a twist. Mary's dead, dude. I know. Or at least she was sealed away for she another You gotta let her years. go, man. She's never coming back. That was a good villain! She's <laughs> never coming back, dude. I she's liked dead. Mary. We took care of her. Now she's gone. Although the reasons you keep saying this is probably because I hit the nail on the head. Yes! Oh, no. Okay. Hey, Kakia, are you gonna give us our next game? <laughs> <laughs> give me another That's ghost. Kind of give me another ghost. Evening, Cax. What's going there, <laughs> girly? Oh, I just realized if she was a little more rounded, she'd be a caco demon. Maybe she's a chicken. She should, should be a Kakuya. <laughs> she goes, it's time to play another No. But no. What? A bitch! <laughs> it's boring if no one disappears. Wow! I don't know, this has been pretty harrowing so far. We'll play forever and ever. Oh, goody. Mm. Because I'm so good at her little fucking game, she says, alright, we'll just keep playing then. That's like 
gods in um, in other Japanese games thinking, you're interesting. I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna see what you do. And yeah, if you don't play, you'll disappear too, and I'm gonna know it. Blah, 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 blah. I already know I'm gonna disappear. This time she's talking about the screaming author. Oh. But hey, Kakia, what's NG? Uh. Oh. Hey! Nothing to say to that? Hey, come on! Hmm. I don't want to. I mean, I gotta know what NG is. I that's mean, not grateful. Wait. I mean, that's that's uh, that, that's not cool, man. I mean, you're just gonna leave without telling me. You always tell me everything. I mean, isn't that part of the game to know that it's gonna be? Uh. Ah! Hey. Uh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. So, NG is something that kind of pisses her off. Excellent. Let's keep doing it. Okay. Okay, so we have it out. NG <laughs> stands for something, obviously. I it, know! It means something. And that might be the key to figuring out what Kakuya's deal is. What is her deal, anyway? Come I, on. I got it. I know exactly what NG means. The reason it pisses her off is because she's a troll online. You go up to her and you go, Nintendo games. And then she just loses her shit. She's a hardcore albino black sheep fan, so it's uh, <laughs> new grounds. <laughs> that's one for my old internet friends uh, yeah, out there. How y'all doing? <laughs> What's up, older crowd? Keep bolstering that 24 to 35 age range. <laughs> anyway, this is our new party member. Hey, what's up? Did you eat my aunt? <laughs> I was just thinking, is this Aunt Natsumi in a wig? I am Momokuruse. Oh, man. I'm oh, no. Out, so you're going the real crazy. one. It's, it's time to go to bed. Come on. A prize? I've got nerves of steel. <laughs> you're, you're an expert at ghost types. Can I please challenge your gym? You know all those terrible paranormal shows that you see on television? Oh, I produce no. all of them. Oh no. So Rose? this is Rose Mulan. She's actually a man disguising herself so that way she can reclaim his honor for his family. Hey, as long as she destroys the Huns, we're good. Let's get down to business <laughs> to defeat the ghosts. Hua! Did they send me daughters when I asked for hosts? She looks at all the ghosts you've exercised. You're the saddest bunch I've ever met. Uh, she threw in her pheromones all over me. Oh, uh, that's her rose perfume. I recently served a lady that was wearing it, basically an entire bottle of perfume, and it wasn't a good scent either. So, like, as I was trying to do my stuff, I, I basically had to go for a breathing break. It was so fucking bad. I am a sucker for fruity perfumes. So Rose is going to tell us, you know, give us more of an info dump. Talking about spirits, you know, they're... We, we know what they are. They're, they're ghosts. They're mm -hmm. people who died in anger or rage or intense fear or whatever. 
and a part of their their uh, soul is left to haunt and hurt and kill. Actually, you know what? We've always seen stories of spirits who are just angered. Ha will we ever have to deal with spirits that are just that just make people extremely afraid? Or no. spirits that are afraid of us? Well, if they, if they if they just go boo, it's not really all that scary. That that's not J horror. That's a Scooby Doo episode. Well, okay. I just think it'd be interesting to have at least like one ghost that knows how to trigger people's fears, like worst fears. <laughs> We're playing on nightmare mode because she really likes us. We're really good at her game. We're, we're the top of the Kakuya game leaderboard right now. Oh, no. Are you saying we have to play the Mistress of Despair's game? That's so terrible. What, so what's NG? Rosé doesn't even know either. So we figured out that spirits are, you know, apparitions of, of uh, grudges and hatred and malice. Kakuya is some sort of spirit who shows up every ten years to kidnap or, or kill or hurt people. NG is the key to figuring out what's up with her. So, uh, Rosa here is NG. She's the new girl. Yes! Excellent, a new lady that can possibly be sacrificed at the end. Oh. Uh, hey, uh, yeah, I had to buy, like, a Speedway burger because of you. Where's my 50 bucks? Speedway burgers aren't too bad. Is. I mean, you're right. At like three in the morning after binge drinking. They've gotten better in recent years, though. <laughs> they thought, hey, why don't we use actual bread this time? And actual, you know, like meat and cheese. Yeah. Well, let's not get too carried away. So, Yakumo Miroku is apparently, uh. That's our lead, I suppose. We got some wild rumors, though. Screaming mm. from the author, Yakumo Miroku's mansion. That could be the screaming author! What? Nothing, I just... I just remember what the title of this chapter is. I'm going for a book signing, it's like, Mr. Miroku, I just loved your... I just loved your book series so much. And he goes, Ah! Ooh, ooh, CG. Yes. So there's an author who screams. That's it. Oh. Hey, have you heard about the Moroku residence? You know, that old mansion where Yakumo Moroku, that children's author, lives all alone? People have been hearing some weird screaming coming from that place lately. Mm. And not just once or twice, but every night. So Mrs. Y from the neighborhood went to complain. That mansion doesn't have an intercom. Or a door. So she had to go right up and knock on the door. That doesn't exist. She pounded on the door and nobody came out. The screaming didn't stop, so she kept coming back day after day. Still no response. But she, but she was sure someone was inside. So she finally got fed up threw something through the window to get the person inside to notice. And suddenly, a light in the second floor window came on. Hmm. And then, she heard a faint voice. Please don't look inside. The voice kept pleading with her softly over and over again. Please don't look inside. 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 Just, just, just don't fucking look inside. Don't look inside! 
This is why I heard a scream, and after that, they said she was tormented by constant screaming inside her head. She had a nervous breakdown and committed suicide. Oh dear. Hmm. That's what the rumors say! Some pretty fucked up rumors again! Damn it, I didn't get to see the ghost. Oh well. A common canard? That's a duck! So, what? Yakumo Miroku is uh, some sort of ghost? What happened to him? I mean, that sounds like a good place to start. Well, Matt, we're practically friends on Facebook. Yeah. She gave me a high five the other day. I mentioned NG. She threatened my life. Doesn't give me weird drinks all the time. Uh, all right. <sighs> if you guys say so. Here's some more info dump. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, it's pretty clear that this screaming author is what Kaki is talking about. Unless, like, five doors down, there's another author that just screams every now and again. Why can't Kakia be like upfront? It's like your friends are are uh, are uh, looking into the rumors of some other ghost. Yeah, yeah, that's your next round. Go for it. Did I ever tell you about how I gave myself anxiety via dream, almost on purpose? And anxiety, go. It it was it kind of reminded me of that situation when I was uh, listening to the story on how you know heard constant screaming forever and ever. Mm -hmm. So, every now and again I'll take a nap, but I'll set an alarm, so if I doze off in like 30 minutes, it'll wake me up in 30 minutes. Uh, sometimes dreams kick in where I'm trying to stop the noise in my dream, but it never stops. And I annoy myself in my own dreams because there is a, a buzzer going off that I can't get rid of until I wake up. So a couple weeks ago, I had a I had a dream. Uh, me and Violet were just kind of sitting around hanging out. Then she started tickling me, and I was like, "Fuck it, like stop!" I, I couldn't move because I was, I was I was dreaming. So I was like, "You know, stop! Fuck it, fuck it, quit it!" And I, and I and I went to go like you know slap her off, but I literally just woke up as my as my hand was going and I punched her right in the side. <laughs> I felt so bad. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like half awake. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just like, what the hell are you doing? He's like, I didn't mean. I didn't mean. To. I'm sorry. Oh god. Dreams are a serious business. Don't fuck with them. Uh huh. Yeah. So if this is uh, if this is anything like my dream where I almost drove myself insane because of a, uh, at the time dreaming about a toy with a voice box that wouldn't die even when taken out and who's still buzzing. Uh, let's see if we can drive ourselves insane with this one. Uh, this chapter is really slow to start. I noticed, that's why I... I I've used up all my bullet points, dude. I need more. <laughs> Give me something to work with here. Why is everybody so critical on how people are dressed? Says the guy wearing a vest. Kisoji again. It's kind of weird that all these horrible spirits are within like a 10 mile radius of each other. Are you saying this city's haunted? It's probably what it's leading up to. The whole dang city's haunted! Oh my god, time to exercise the entire city. And the mayor of Raccoon City is like, Nuke it!
Alright. So, in short, Yakumo Miroku's house has been heard about the screaming author. Screaming author might be him. I'm gonna go to his house, and here's more file to let us know. Don't peek inside. Freak a scream, you know, throw something at the window, someone will show up, you know, suspicious, you know, yeah. Can I could just lead like, to a nervous breakdown, could commit suicide if, we, if we're not careful, but uh, hey, let's go for it anyway. Could we just, like, peek through the window, like, through the crack in our fingers, like, cover up our eyes and just be like, uh... She said don't look inside, so... Well, I mean, I'm curious, though. She told me not to, so of course I'm gonna do it. This is why I wouldn't survive in any of these horror games. Flaunting my stuff. What the hell are you doing, huh? Oh man, more fucking cops around here. Are you kidding? It's almost like there's a running theme. Well, essentially how this chapter goes is that we're gonna explore Yagamo Moroku's house mm -hmm. for as long as the cops are uh, not around here. So it's gonna, it's gonna take a couple nights to figure out everything, but that's basically the gist of it. So two or three hours to trespass into somebody's house and see if there's any dead or horrifying things there. My money's on... Um... Uh, let's see. Well, since we're talking about an author, how about the old shtick that uh, whatever the author writes comes true? You said they're... old... You said old shtick. If you gotta say old shtick, then throw it out. It's wrong. Okay, then let me think of something else. What if the author writes with the blood of his victims? <laughs> I See, I know what it is, and I just cannot wait for your reaction as to what is happening here. Okay. <laughs> mm. Oh god, this is fucked! Okay. So if I don't react to anything, does that make me a terrible person? Yes, it does. Okay. So, uh, let's take a look around the house first before we go in. Anything in the, in the grass? Ah, a wooden door plate. It's Miroku. Oh. So right. it's, it's the house sign. Uh, b -b -b I can... Oh, wait, there we go. That was strange. It was like it didn't light up at first. Yeah, I, I think there's like a limit as to how many things will flash up. Are you telling me this visual novel isn't technologically advanced? I think it's technically an indie game. They gotta kickstart their third game. Oh my god, you're right. This technically is an indie game, but it has a publisher. Well, Axis only licenses it. Well, well okay, license. license, excuse me. This isn't a Capcom game. This isn't, you know, Namco. I think it's just experience. Who did some weeby, crappy dungeon crawler game for the Vita before this? They found their calling. I think they have. What if we go to Japanese folklore and really scare the masses? If I could have one criticism of this game, it's just too much blah 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 for, okay, let me do the thing. See, that's what I was going to ask you earlier. I think... I mean, of course, everybody's probably going to say this, but if you take a bunch of these horror visual novels, would they work in an, a short animated series, like 12 episodes? You could shorten the blah blah um. blah... But I think it would lose some of the impact, especially if, like, episode three, you're already taking down Kubitaro, and then, oh, you gotta choose between your teammates! I think that would get lost in the scuffle. 
Also, I think that a lot of the, the horror happens in the reader's mind. And they got, a, like, a lot of really good sound design that I think would get lost in an animated series. I'll agree with that. They do give you a lot of visuals to work with, though. Yeah. Like, Besides, sometimes you need the blah blah, so that way you can lull you into a false sense of security before things start getting fucky. So nobody comes out even if you knock, right? Knock, knock. Who's there? Nobody. Nobody, Nobody who? who? Nobody who gives a damn. They said they don't give a damn. What do we do? Look inside. No, but it said don't look inside. It's kind of confusing because you need to, like, look at stuff, like, over again. It's just... It's I a want mailbox. To go in the house! I want to go inside! Quick, Bon, Rosé, toss me into the second floor window. Trust me, I'll make it. There we go. So we got a yank on the door to prove that it's locked, but I assumed it was locked! Hey, do you think this is... locked? And they're like, whoa, you just want to go straight inside? Uh-oh. Uh I think somebody has arrived. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Hey! Is that... I think that might be... Uh-oh. Um... It's a crane. Oh boy, is there something in here. What could it possibly be? <laughs> Probable cause! Bust the door down! <laughs> but wait, Vaughn, we don't have a warrant. Wait, no! Just go in! It's scary in there, though. I guess it's also a way to, you know, talk more with Bon and Rose to get to know them so he can. Before they get, die! Get some attachment for them before Kakia says, Okay, time to choose who lives and dies now! That I would be pissed. Don't do that. But we also learned that Rosé is a master lockpicker. Is that how she gets one up on the ghosts? It's nope. like, haha, I picked your lock! So unlike the last couple of cases, we're going to be switching up between Bond and Rosé quite a couple times. So we need Bond to do this thing, and then we need to get Rosé to unlock this door, and then she can come do this, but we need Bond to come in and do this part. So we're going to be going back and forth, back and forth between the two. I love how she says don't ask anything that might invade my privacy as she's picking a door open. Here's how I pick locks. <laughs> Just one swift kick. <laughs> ah yes, I will be disciple for pretty blonde lady. Yes, please cut the chit chat. Oh, thank you. Let's see. How much chit chat have we had? Wow. About like half an hour's worth of blah blah. And now we're finally stepping inside the Maroku mansion. Give me the ghost.
Give me the ghost. It, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting like a floor full of corpses, but nope. Seems pretty... Like stock. S standard average, really. Yeah. You got through in the right place, though. Ah! That's loud. Like, uh, uh, to, to the average viewer, to you and me, it's just kind of mildly irritating. But I think they're trying to say that it's like, it's so loud, it's so rupturing, it's just shattering your, your eardrums. But I'm glad they didn't go for the full effect on that one. It sounded like they were torturing an animal. So this must have been the screams that Ms. Wire heard that made her commit suicide. And, well, yeah, you know, if it's been, like, three months and it's still not screaming, I think I would probably have killed myself. Yes, let's investigate. There we go. I need to split us up. It's fine. You'll all be fine. Trust me, you'll all be perfectly fine. Alright. Who's coming with us today? Rosé? Uh, yep. Monday. Yes! Rosé is with us. I don't want to do any of the scary stuff. Alright, later. Now, about almost 40 minutes in, let's take a look around. Holy shit. So are we actually going to see that thing that you're waiting on a reaction for? Like, in this episode, or does that come later? Yeah, I'm going to... I'm not going to say anything anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to go with your all your wrong guesses now. <laughs> well, that means I need to come up with more. Let's see, uh, this house is made from, uh, smothered up corpses. Does it look like smothered up corpses? Well, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. It looks like regular wood. Just looking over here, that shoe cabinet. That does not have any shoes in it. And you find a row of shoes with the feet still in them. Bamboo charcoal. Oh, sweet. And a spray can. Oh, we get to burn this place down. I gotta tell you, one of those two items is incredibly important. Bamboo charcoal. So, yeah, Ooh. this this place isn't really big at all. It's literally just three rooms and the outside. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Glad I'm wearing headphones for this because it sounded like it was banging on the glass. So this is why we need rosé. You can undo the lock to this uh, drawer here. Ah. And get the key item. I'm actually a magician. She is. We got a sailor uniform and some cute socks. Ooh, I'm gonna take those cute socks with me. Oh, they're children's clothes. They won't fit me. So what? So Maroka didn't have a family. So why would he have children's clothes then? Huh. Methinks he's stealing children and making them do very terrible things and then killing them. Here's a hand warmer. That's all we got in the living room. 
Let's check the other room, which is the bedroom. No. Oh. Well, there is a a figure there in the window. Ballet? Uh, Kisoji Ballet School Recital. Hmm. March 3rd, 99. Kisoji Center Hall starts at, 10 th at 1300. Doors close at 10. There's a girl dressed in white in a ballet pose with her legs upright. Looks like a flyer for a children's ballet recital. Oh, I get it. This is the head of Netflix that's let cuties on their platform. First act, collection of pieces by the others. Second act, Lac de Caen. Second act will feature girls who are too young to wear pointed shoes. Please enjoy their energy and spirit as they perform adorned in adorable colors. Mm-hmm. Duck Lake. Well, there we have the... The crane connection. It's basically where young children who uh, are Swan. in ballet school are learning the basics of ballet school, but not ready to dance the actual ballet. They're just, you know, doing some dances, going around, showing their stuff, showing some coordination to Swan Lake music. It's what it sounds like mm -hmm. for me. You know. Little little uh, ducklings before they can be the, uh, the full-grown ducks and or geese or swans. Or albatrosses, or eagles, or... Uh, <laughs> Dodo dodos. Vultures. Yep, do it. No, Let's look at doing? the bed first. No, go back and do the thing. A mass of hair! A clump of stiff hair! Awesome. <laughs> that's... that's... Alright. Well, I'm just gonna shove that in my pocket. Yep, It's horse that. hair. Uh, what? Come and use for something like with the bowstrings of a violin. Oh dear. I don't like this. <laughs> no, you? I couldn't tell by the lovely brooch on your neck. She's got an outfit that just screams one percenter. <laughs> Let's check out the radio. <laughs> There's a cassette tape inside. Let's take a look at the cassette tape. It just says T. Well, that doesn't help. We need to find the two cassette tapes that have N and G. It's just screams. But there's nothing. It's not working. The batteries are dead. Batteries are missing. Well, gosh darn it, we need to go get some batteries. Do we got if we do we do gotta get some batteries. Alright, what's this he thing? Here are the batteries. <laughs> oh god. It's probably nothing. See it's nothing. <laughs> oh god, I hate it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's let's say that. It ain't nothing. Anyway, there's a drawer over here, too. Oh, hey, batteries! Got incense. Okay. And, wait, is... Is uh, it? It's a battery! A battery! Look at that. So we're getting, like... A ton of items here. Are we going to be fighting the ghost in this one? The curse hasn't started yet. Uh, you never ask. The items you're getting, are they for puzzle solving or are they for fighting the ghost? Well... Let's put the battery in the boombox. <laughs> the ghost comes at you, throw a sailor uniform at it. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah, and the curse is brought to your partner. It's like, Wait, I didn't want. So this battery sucks because it, it's old. Hmm. Warm it up ah. to put a little bit more charge in it. 
But... Time to use the hand warmer. You got it. It could give us like two or three good solid minutes of tape playing. Now I can play my favorite Sticks album. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yep. Mm. Child T has been kidnapped. Age, age 13, long hair, white one piece dress on the day she went missing. Last seen heading home from ballet class practice in Kisoji. That's oh, the fly we picked up. Prop mentions it's been a month and the case is now a partial public investigation. Oh no. Jeez. Oh, oh no. No, no. <laughs> it's the T label, right? Is somebody snatching ballet dancers and killing them. Well, okay. Well There's a phone? Give me back my hair. I gotta look at the pillow. There's still things I gotta see. Like, there's there's an Okina mask here. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> it's a no mask. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, I've got one of those. Scares the fuck out of people. Phone? I love no masks. And... There's the phone. Was that always there? Oh, I don't even remember. Huh. This game finally answers the question, but who was phone? <laughs> well, let's find out who was phone. Yes. Fucking telemarketers. Ah, uh, what? Why? <laughs> Dial a hot flash. And I think they infected me with dizzy. And just like that, we're already done for the day. Seriously? Seriously. No! We're I wanted to all... see something spooky! We're already done for the day, no! that's it. No! Damn it! Well, we laid down the foundation for what's gonna be some, uh... Ugh. Pretty messed up stuff. Couldn't it... Well, I'm starting to get it, get that vibe, but... They couldn't, like, show me... A CG, at least? I think we get at least that. Uh... It hasn't, though. Well, it, it, maybe I guess. You know, we heard well, I hope I, I hope I see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I don't want to hang with the hang out when the cops show up. Let's 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 get out of here. Time to be haunted at my apartment. Me? Why do I gotta buy batteries? Also, N Double, can you loan me fifty bucks? Oh, oh come you on. adults are useless. Got this asshole who keeps giving me you know keeps wanting me to give him gambling money. Did she tell me to go buy batteries? Fuck. Uh, yes. Who's in there? Yes. 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 Hello? 
Yes. Lou. Yes. Uh. Fuck. <sighs> Seriously. God damn it. Hmm. Another long, lonely walk home. Oh. Yo, what's up, D-Man? Somehow I knew he would call. Alright. What are we looking at now? Uh, D-Mail 5, search the monster that raises its, its voice when awoken. An alarm clock? Raises its voice when awoken. What? Oh, I know what that is. Uh, in, hmm. Oh, it's this and, fire uh, alarm. Yeah. Sure enough. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, sound of the flute. A young girl appears. The Shinza rumor is a ghost with white hair. Child doll in Komodo. It said that the night of a full moon is she saw herself. She loves people to play her game. Different reads person. Finding items is a curse test, but each has a certain condition. Be the condition. Survive. Otherwise, they most likely die. I've never spoken to any of the players. I can confirm or sure. sure. It's only a rumor, but the reason I haven't talked to them is that there's a challenger game. Unfortunately, the uh, passer may that girls playing Kaguya. I've been repeating since the war ended. It's fortunate you're in this situation. Get a guy to death in reverse or neither. If worst comes to worst, I'll gather your ashes for you. D man. Oh, gee. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Why is he hiding these cards? They're completely optional. So the and Screaming Author look? file's been updated. What do we find out? A horse, tail, hair, cassette tape. The girl went missing on her way from ballet lessons. She got turned into, into a homunculus. Huh. <sighs> Still so sleepy. But first, I take a nice shower. Time to get haunted. Oh yeah, to get haunted. I, I gotta make sure that my bathroom is still working, you know? Make Time sure nobody's to get haunting haunted. it. Oh yeah, getting haunted. Ah. Huh? I don't hear anything. It's probably nothing. Uh-oh. <laughs> Punch it! <clears throat> <laughs> we hear the screaming. Alright. Get a little water. Water the plants. We'll go to bed. There you go, little cactus friend. Nothing to it. All right, good night. Well, that was a weird diversion. <laughs> really sleepy all of a sudden. Uh oh. Goodbye, N double. Yeah. <sighs> oh, hey, you're playing 3D All Stars. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I made it into the episode. Uh, I'm sorry, could you speak up? Gonna turn my volume up for this. How'd you get this number? <laughs> oh my god. I better not call again. Well. <laughs> Alright then. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Good night.
Yes! Next time on NG, things are gonna get really spooky, I promise. See you next time. Thank God.